What's happening everyone, Walid from Moscow Hacker here and today we're going to be talking about the VZ Custom Mini by VZ. I'm really excited about this one because a lot of people that know me probably still think that the Unifib Fibonacci is my current favourite in the collection. And you'd be wrong, it's been superseded by this guy and it took me a long time to admit that to myself but I just can't get over how substantial this rig is. It has both substance and style in equal measure. There's too much to talk about in terms of how, like this, how good this rig is, but we'll try to cover as much ground as possible. There is a lot to cover with this uh, with this piece. Um, and I think it's quite cool that we enthusiasts, we generally get bored of products over time. We'll buy something, we'll ram it for the first few weeks, and then it just gets added to the rotation. Um, but then it starts collecting dust, you use it less and less, and then you look at it and start feeling guilty, thinking, you know, what's going to get more use out of this? I can get a quick cash injection. You sell it within the community, and the cycle continues. I find it remarkable that this piece has actually... It's, it's, it's grown on me to the point that it's now become my favourite, and it wasn't like that the case from the start, you know? it's uh, I've been more and more impressed with it as the months have gone using it fairly regularly I hasten to say. Um, I mean again we'll talk about why this thing is so good but a lot of people think oh well it must be a good tabletop option but for me it's just a really good all-rounder. It smokes like a big rig, it's a decent drawer in it you know you feel like you're smoking. Um, I know drawer is subjective but for me I think there's a real sweet spot here with this uh, with this piece and um, again for something that's so compact so many features even more features than larger rigs uh, than this one um, so for all these reasons I just felt obliged to talk about it uh, VZ's background as some of you may know I and I believe they kind of specialised in furniture so light fixtures coiled light fixtures that kind of thing which if obviously people are familiar with the VZ copper that's where the inspiration comes from that's what the theme is very industrial steampunk motif um, which is great but these pipes traditionally that I say traditionally they, they they're, they're quite high maintenance you know they wouldn't say they're daily drivers but I didn't of, of the fact that you've got to really clean them thoroughly dry them properly and give them the right TLC and it just becomes onerous owning one of these you know I'd happily smoke out of one and just leave someone else to sort of clean and manage it um, this on the other hand is so practical in terms of cleaning it, it's modular, you break it down, give it a good soak and you carry on and on to the next day of smoking. Um, and in terms of travel, obviously it's a compact option, you can take this to your friend's house and they'll probably look at it and bulk it the size. I think how can you get something like that to smoke like a big rig, but it does. I will demonstrate that to you guys. So yeah, without further ado, I've done enough talking, I just want to get into smoking this because <laughs> I enjoy it so much. Let's break it down and we'll talk about the individual components, ease of assembly, all that great stuff and let's just get into it. So there we have it, that's the uh, broken down VZ Custom Mini. And I don't know about you guys, but when I first saw this, my mind was blown because I was thinking, there's so many component parts to making something that's so compact. It, it, this is not a stick hooker by any stretch of the imagination, as you guys can see, you know, it's, uh, it's really, it, it is substantial. There's a lot to it. Um, what I'll do is I will, assemble each of the parts, take a closer look at the machining into the individual components and then try to explain from my experience of using it why these serve to be so beneficial. First things we've got the tray, laser cut from the looks of things. I don't really use my tray functionally, I tend to use like a, a basket or something of that ilk just because I want to preserve it and you get nice trays like this. Um, it's got a couple of battle scars from Provost trays on it and what have you, but generally speaking, I do try to preserve them, but I don't know, man. I mean, this could serve as a, as a means of getting ash off, off the tray. Um, obviously you've got the, uh, the hammer and sickle uh, logo. There's the emblem there for VZ and the initials. So that's the tray. So where we start off is we've got the bowl ports and this component, the first of four parts of the upstand. You can see it's threaded on the internal, has a step, and that's the first part. 
Now this is a pop-off train, so it slots in that's the component number two, like so. And take it from me, this is airtight. There's a bit of weight to everything above, so there is a good airtight fit to this. Airflow will not be hindered by the fact that it's a pop-off tray. Um, but actually it's quite beneficial if you want to adjust the water level, which on occasion I have, I've had friends over and they want it a bit more open. So it becomes a bit cumbersome when you've got coals in the bowl and stuff. Take this off with the bowl and move this one side and it's basically that. Get the third part in. It's all coming together. I'm going to put that to one side and this for me is the piece de resistance, I don't know if, if you know if that's the right terminology, but this is the integrated molasses catcher. Now I've never aesthetically been a fan, I mean needs must, but having a big chunky molasses catcher that's not in keeping with the aesthetic of the rest of the pipe and also if you've got molasses catchers that aren't threaded and how that could restrict airflow, I like a bit of restriction but Come on, there's a limit, right? Um, so for all these reasons, um, I love this molasses catcher and it works a treat. So as you can see, there are very seamless slits in there, but again, does not affect the airflow. The threads are very good. It's airtight. Um, I mean, I, I was surprised, if I'm being honest, that this molasses catcher is actually so far away from the top of the tray. <laughs> effectively where the ball port is and where all the uh, molasses would see it from a traditional bowl. But it, it works a treat. So that's the upstem, that's the tray. The be all and end all. You've got the aluminium heart, it's the uh, aluminium stainless steel heart, beg your pardon. Um, and as you can see, this thing is heavy. Ball bearings there. Gonna do it with a cap just to keep these in place because I have lost ball bearings in the sink cleaning this thereafter and I've forgotten about it, just tipping it over. I'm not gonna get them out, but they're, yeah, they're, they're fairly small size ball bearings. So you've got five there and that makes up the purge valve, which is from the top of the heart. Um, but as you can see, I'm just gonna do this. Don't wanna tilt it and lose the balls all together, but yeah, and this is a solid heart, a lot of weight to it. Now, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but all these component parts, and this is something that from my personal experiences of other rigs. Let's start this again. Let's put this down. Probably easy to assemble. Doing it this way. So if you can see, there's knurling done on the actual individual parts. Now, I think that's great because the amount of times I've had certain other products, which I won't name, which have been prized, they've, they've grouted because the threads aren't that great. Um, and then I've had to go to a machine shop and literally prize them apart that way. It's, I'm not a fan. These, however, no matter how warm they are after a session, the grip on this is so sufficient that basically just taking it apart after a session is a breeze. And again, these are the sort of details we're talking about. Integrated molasses catcher, which you don't, you can't really tell it's there unless I told you. Um, in terms of the rest of it, so we have, we'll just put this to one side. We have a perforated down stem, so this is diffused. I'll actually put this in here, so we've obviously got the O-rings, by the way, on the uh, on the hose port. But let's go back to this, we've got the, uh, the down stem. What this has as a means of giving you an option of how much of a rumble you want or how little, if you want it to be super silent, is this cap. So, you, to make it more quiet, very simple, you just raise this. You can't do it within the session, you'd have to take the thing out if you were to do that. But that's effectively how it works. So this just controls how quiet or rumbly you want it. Me personally, um, you know, I don't mind it when it's super silent, but on the VZ, I prefer it this way. I think it gives a really nice homage to a traditional rumble. I'm gonna do it this way, guys. Give me a second. Put it together. And there we 
have it. A fully assembled VZ Custom Mini. Right, I have got some parts I'm going to pair this with. We're going to spark it up and I will see you guys on the other side. Back again. Um, fully assembled. I was open to do a slow reveal of each of the individual parts. My microphone's just failing on me, so I already did that. So here we are again, fully assembled. So uh, anyway, here's my VZ Custom Mini setup. I'm not a big aesthetics guy, but I do like what I've put together here. Um, so the first thing that we've got, obviously we've got the VZ. We have a crystal Caesar base. I'll see if I can just lift that up for you. I've got the coals on there already, which isn't ideal. So be very careful. But yeah, that's what we're talking about. It's uh, the whole fast edition, so it's uh, frosted at the bottom, fasted here. And um, I've got the water level, so I've closed off the holes completely using the cap. Um, that's my personal preference. And with that, I tend to have, so you have this knurling detail even on the cap, and what I would recommend, me personally, is going three quarters of the inch, so uh, three quarters of an inch above the, the bottom rather, so where that lands is kind of just underneath where this knurling detail is. Um, that for me is ideal. You get a nice sort of balanced draw doing it that way, um, and it looks fantastic. Uh, and I had a Caesar base in mind when thinking of the VZ Custom. The next part I thought was uh, handle, and VM Handmade came up with this really, really special piece. You've got this uh, silicone hose band with leather and stitched. You've got my, um, you've got my, my IG handle or my online I moniker there. So I've got like a personalized. And then this is just a work of art. You've got the epoxy. Um, I mean, let's see if we can get it to focus. Do all this business. Uh, yeah. I mean, the camera's not gonna do it justice with that. It's quite remarkable. And as you can see, this, matches this kind of orthogonal detail, shall we say, these little steps internally. It is an homage to my Visa Custom Mini. Uh, it wasn't the easiest thing to achieve on told in epoxy, but I am delighted I've got this. And to complete the setup, uh, the assemble, which uh, I managed to attain towards the end of last year, and I looked at this finish and looked at that fasting and thought, that's me done, as far as the setup's concerned. So, uh, so yeah, um, I'm not going to be, obviously, as you can see, I'm not using my assemble right now. I will do afterwards, because I want to demonstrate how I would use the uh, the VZ Custom Mini with funnel. With the traditional bowl, I like to make use of this integrated nice catcher. Um, so we have the Tortuga uh, Turkish, which is a great bowl, I recommend it. It's low cap, traditional bowl, um, with Blackburn Super Grapher, Kiwi Smoothie Supernova, um, more flavours which might have reduced accessibility for obvious reasons in the coming months. Don't know how long that's going to go on for, but we shall see. So again, low cap is being used. And in terms of um, HMD, we have the Honor HMD, which I picked up from Frankfurt. Not been impressed. It's, um, I wish I could show you the bottom of it. It's kind of perforated on the outside, a bit like a Negroni, and then nubs on the bottom, a bit like a Lotus. None of it but I've got a three goal startup and it's been working well for me and I'm really liking it. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna wait for this to heat up a bit because the coals didn't go on long ago. And um, you, you guys can see for yourself how well this whole setup right here reps with the traditional bowl. Bowl is the temperature, there's only one thing to do. I mean, come on. <laughs> it was always going to take something special to dethrone the Fibonacci as my top rig in my collection. And with very good reason, it is the Visa Custom Mini. Um, the draw, which I think a lot of you guys are wondering about. And I would say, if you think of a map pair as your barometer as a neutral draw rig, right bang in the center, uh, the full size version. And I would say this is a touch on the restricted side of that. So I think seasoned smokers would really, really enjoy this. Um, people that are more au fait with open draw rigs um, will try this. And I think they'll appreciate it. And I think they'll gravitate more towards this once they've tried it. Um, the nice catcher is working great. I'll show you guys how much because it's taken. You know, Blackburn, Mustard with a traditional bowl, great dark side. 
it's wibby stuff, um, but the master catcher is clearly working, the base is still clear. Um, as we'll get into the session, I'm sure it still will be the case. It's just the amount of thought that's gone into this rig is superb. Um, and it's spoken like a big rig, you know, although it's compact, it's probably what, like 40 centimeters now, like top to bottom. And you wouldn't know you're smoking out of something so minute. It's, um, it's, it's a beast. It really is. Um, and the whole setup, the flavor's coming through nicely with the bowl and the, the, the way I've packed it up on for a slight in the pack um, with the, uh, a Lotus style HMD with the Onmo, the traditional bowl. What can I say, it's ripping. You know, it's, it's doing everything you want it to do. It looks great and definitely substance with style, which is what you want. Let me show you guys the perch. So I mean, I've taken in some smoke. Let me just dispel it properly without taking, without inhaling. It plays effortlessly. You can see the base is really clear now. Um, so the purge is doing really well uh, um, in terms of actually dispelling smoke from the base. Um, I'm not really big in terms of aesthetics with purges, but um, I think this one looks really cool. Um, what we'll do next, well, the next thing I'll do is I'll show you guys how much glycerin has gone into the master catcher. And then just before we wrap up, I'll do one more session. I'll do it with my sand bowl because this is feeling left out from the setup and I'll do this with foil and provost. I'll take a good number of these components off, my last catch will be taken off, and literally pretty much all we'll be left with is take off the tray as well. Just the bowl port going straight into the heart with a funnel on top and it becomes even more compact. And again, you'll see how well that rips doing it that way. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna enjoy the session. So yeah, let me just take a few more toes. with you guys shortly. Again guys, session number two on the horizon. Uh, before I explain what's going on here, uh, let me show you the master sketcher following that treddy old session. I'm going to tilt it as best as I can, but as you can see, not a drop. Same water, didn't change it, not a single drop went in. So as you can see, it's, it works brilliantly. And you would never have known it was there had I not told you guys, you know? So it's, uh, that's a feat of design right there. So kudos to VZ on that one. It's a really good nice sketch, it works really well. That's one side. And I said, no tray. There are literally three components. We've got the bowl port, one of the components, the other one in here, threaded into the heart, literally slots right in. So, that's pretty much set up. Uh, I'm gonna go for Provost. I've got some uh, some must have space flavor packed up in the bowl, in the ascent. And I have, just because we're doing another session, I've raised the cap slightly so it will be a bit more diffused on this session. So you guys can kind of contrast and compare and you can see the full scope of this rig. So let me get this coals on and then we'll see what's going on with session number two. Back again, coals are on. Is two temps, so only one thing to do. I mean, if I put my forearm on, on the table, my hand overlapping the bowl, I mean, and yet it still rips. You know, <laughs> look at this thing. What can I say that I haven't already said about this rig? This review, overview, whatever you want to call it. It offers too much. <laughs> it's too good to us. Uh, it has to be the number one for me currently for this moment in time. Uh, we'll see if there is a rig out there that uh, dethrones it, but it'll take a hell of a rig to do that. You'll notice it's a bit quieter. It's not completely silent. Now you can silence it completely. The way to do that is to take the cap off completely or raise it expose the holes completely and uh, get the water level so that it's like a mill over just barely covering the holes it's a bit too quiet at that point for me but it can be done and it is super quiet when you do it that way um, but like i said the clues in the name these are custom customize it to your preference and that's why this pipe will take some beating um availability so i've put on a lot of people to buy in this rig and uh, they eulogized about it, there might have been a knock-on effect, but every time this restocks, it goes like this. But when it does restock, 
uh, Kaka's is the place to go. Um, I think it retails for about two ninety or two eighty. I can't remember. It's in that kind of bracket. Again, people might think that's quite a lot for a compact rig, but for me, it's my favourite in terms of big, small, what have you. And in terms of the options you get, in terms of its versati versatility, you don't need to buy an additional molasses catcher. It's got you covered. So I would argue it's great bang for buck in that respect. Um, obviously, that doesn't include the base. You can get one of these, and I think it's inexpensive base. Still looks great. So you can get something like that. In terms of the other products, uh, Ascent, you know, Sigur has done really well uh, since he started at back end of last year. Um, if you DM him and see if there's some kind of conversation to be had, you can maybe get one of your own. That's the way to do it. But he's very, um, he engages a lot in that regard. So I, I encourage people who are interested in this world uh, to uh, just go reach out to him directly at uh, Ascent Hooker on Instagram. Uh, what else? We talked about the Onmo HMD. This isn't available in the UK. I picked this up in Germany. Who knows? Maybe one day. But uh, you can buy direct. That's an option. And again, on Moshisha, I believe is the Instagram handle for those guys. Contact them and they will respond promptly. These, Kakas did use to stock these, and I think he still does. It's still available as an option, but they've not been around for a while. But this is a very good traditional one, one I highly recommend. So, again, um, anything that I've advised in terms of Kakas, um, Moscow for, is the discount code for 10% off such products. And of course, the yeah, handmade. Um, I'm sure this has piqued a lot of people's interest watching this video. Just contact them directly. They're inexpensive. I think this, these two together, with shipping just over 100 euros, you can't really balk at that price in terms of the work that goes into making this. And I appreciate it looking at it up close and in the context of handles, I don't think that's too bad. But that's that's pretty much it, guys. That's my uh, overview slash review on the. Visa Custom Mini, and I uh, hope you gleaned some information on that. If you're thinking about copying one, I hope this uh, addressed any sort of queries that you may have. If you've got any further queries, comment on there for you guys to use and just uh, ask away. Um, Instagram at Moscow underscore hooker, and just message me on there. But until then, guys, until my next review video, enjoy your smoking, enjoy your sessions, and I'll see you guys on the other side. All the very best.